Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light shine through? Hey gamers, welcome back to my gaming channel, official video videos. Um, I do let's plays and walkthroughs of yesterday and today. We were with my hero, Ben Jordan, paranormal investigator. We're in case number four, the horror of number 50. We're in a haunted house. The plot is thickening. We're, in, we're entering a secret, uh, uh, ghostly, mysterious, supernatural maze. So let's continue where we left off. Three doors. All right, here's here's our doors. Door number one, door number two, number two, three. It's one of the three identical doors. Uh, let's pick this one. You take a deep breath and prepare to go through the door. Okay. What, what's going on here? Apparently, there's no way out of this room. You have to get out of there. This door is misleading. So we're back where we were. All right, here's, let's do the second door. You take a deep breath and prepare to go through the door. Ben, Alice. Something terrible has happened. What is it? Simon's disappeared. What do you mean he's disappeared? I, w I was looking around inside the new door and he went ahead of, of me and when I went to look for him, he vanished. Something's not right in there. Doors and rooms keep shifting, kept shifting around. So what do we do now? Let's go tell Otto about the situation. Okay, good plan. So he just vanished into thin air? Yeah, yeah, just like that. This is very peculiar. If what you describe is accurate, the space inside that series of rooms you are in is explicitly larger than the area of this house. I read about this phenomenon once. Amanda Spear as well. The house seemed to swallow him into a void. So you're saying Simon is most likely dead? Unfortunately, the man who disappeared was never seen again. I'm afraid Simon may indeed be dead. Oh no. God damn it! All we were supposed to do was investigate a haunting and it's ended up killing Simon, putting Madame Rosenquist into a coma! No, Mr. Jordan, please calm down. How can I possibly calm down every time I start getting attached to someone, they die? It's already happened twice, and now, now again with Simon. I'm getting sick of this. I'm ready to pack up and just get the hell out of here. Mr. Jordan, this is not the way to handle things. I understand your pain. I recently lost my wife and two children in an automobile accident. Oh, I'm sorry. Do not be. We lose those we care about. Life is cruel that way. However, when tragedies occur, we cannot allow ourselves to be overcome with grief. It is necessary to carry on, no matter what happens. You're right, Otto. I'm, s I'm sorry I had that out outburst. Now, we we ha may have to lost Simon, but we still have to dodge up to do. Just before you arrive, I found a, a link to a site describing how to establish contact with the spirit and drive it away. Okay, wh what do we do? What do, we do? First, we need to gather at the point where the spiritual activity is most strong. The room at the top floor? Precisely. Okay, then what? 
we must somehow get the spirit's attention and channel its energies to create a portal to send it to the spiritual spirit nether world. Whoa, this sounds pretty complicated. Don't worry about it, Mr. Jordan. This is my field. However, I will need Alice's training as a parapsychologist to assist me. Of course, Otto. Anything I can do, just let me know. Miss Wiz, welcome. You and I must prepare everything for the summoning and driving away of the spirit. Mr. Jordan, I am putting you in charge of finding a way into the room. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Very well, very good. Miss Wilkins and I will be here. Let us know when you have found a way into the room. Good luck, guys. And to you as well. See you soon, Ben.